Hey guys, what's going on? Tony Snuff here, Mini. I am Tony, and all of this is Snuff. That's right, I bring the Snuff reviews to you guys, so get up off your Pornhub and spank wire, put away your meat, you sick fucking bastards, whip out your Snuff, and let's get to sniffing it. Today we are going to be doing a review on Crystal Smokers Blend. Um, <clears throat> this one actually kind of surprised me. Um, I should have known that from the get-go, because you have the normal McChrystal's label, like that. Or like that. And then, I don't know where you get this black label that kind of makes it look like an off-brand label for the Smoker's Blend. I don't know if they were trying to make it look a little bit edgy or what they were doing, but <clears throat> this is what you get, this black label um, for the Smoker's Blend. So we'll go ahead and we'll start talking about the tin. The tin is the exact same as all the other McChrystal slash Waltons of Shero's tins. Um, they do not put as much in there as the Wilson's of Shero, so it doesn't spill over as much, but it does still spill over the side. So again, you have to do your normal round tap where you're doing the whole circle thing. You have to pinch it and deal with all the bullshit. So again, shitty tin. Um... Yeah, I don't like them, but I love the snuff that's in it, so I'd rather have the shitty tin than shitty snuff. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we got inside, shall we? As you can tell, my roommate still isn't home. I don't know if he went back to St. Martin or wherever the fuck for Christmas, but thank God he is not here. <clears throat> it's almost like I have my apartment back. I should have set this thing up and done a uh, a review old school style from the uh, from the table out there, but it's a little bit too much work. All right, so as you see with the round tap and everything, you make sure that there's nothing else up on the sides. As you can see, I've used a decent amount of this um, because it's actually pretty good. Not to spoil the review, but it's pretty good. I really like this one. Um, color and consistency. As you can see, it's just the normal dirt brown, like most McChrystal snuff is. Um, it's a medium fine grind. It's not just medium. It's not fine. It's right in between medium fine. Um, it's it's a real fluffy snuff. Um, and let me mix it up a little bit here, and you can actually see, like y'all saw how empty the container looked a couple seconds ago, and you can fluff it up to make it actually quite pleasant and everything. Um, it's a medium dry. As you can tell, you tap it, and it doesn't really stick too much on your finger, just a little bit. Um, just because it's a little bit dry. So it's a medium fine grind, medium dry dryness. I don't know. Um, it's not it's not medium moisture, it's medium dry. <clears throat> There's not too much moisture in it, but it's not too dry, it's just gonna kill you. Um, that's why I'm actually using my snuff spoon today on this little piece of crap <laughs> that I got for like a dollar fifty. Um, I'm gonna use this one today just because it's kind of hard to grip out of the little tin. I can't just stick it to my finger like a medium moisture or a moisture snuff. Um, so I'm going to be using my spoon. So out of the tin, a uh, little whiff. Um, surprisingly, if you've ever had Toke Coke, that's actually the smell that you kind of get out of the tin. Um, like a tiny bit of a slight ammonia smell, but it smells almost out of the tin like the Toke Coke smells out of the tin. Um, when I got this one, I thought that this would be just like the Tote Quit, where it's just no smell just for the nicotine for the people who are smoking and like the high nicotine. <clears throat> but this actually doesn't out of the tin. It smells like Tote Coat, which is one of the reasons I really like it, because I ran out of Tote Coke a while back. I need to order some more, and I don't have any more. So um, this has kind of been taking the place of it. So that's just how it smells out of the tin. Let's go ahead and get the sniff. Uh, test going and uh, do a little bit of rating, shall we? <coughs> All right. So it being kind of fine and kind of dry, it will shoot to the back of your throat. Um, not super easy, but easy enough to where I just got complacent with it. <coughs> Immediately. The first thing you're going to notice is it's going to burn. You're going to get a good nasal burn all up in this area. Yeah. <laughs> all up in this area. It shot to the back of my throat, so my, my right eye is watering a little bit. 
But um, <clears throat> yeah, if I shoot up there, you do get a good burn because you do get a really good nicotine content with the uh, the mint crystal smokers blend, and it does smell exactly like the to Coke. In my experience, y'all could have a different experience, but that's why Tony Snuff is doing a Tony Snuff review on Tony Snuff's experience. <clears throat> you guys may have a totally different experience, but it does smell like the Tote Coke. The only difference is Tote Coke disappears, and the scent disappears after like 10 seconds. This one, you'll have the smell for about a minute, so I really enjoy it. Like I said, you do get a good nicotine hit off of it. I like to do two spoonfuls just because this is a tiny spoon. Um, that's why I have that mound on it. Like <laughs> like that guy, that's how I normally like to take it. Um, but for this review, I'm not getting crazy with it just because I don't want to. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm not doing it. But I have had a hell of a day at work today, so I think I should treat myself with a couple decent spoonfuls. <laughs> and I really like the smell. Um, but yeah. Toe Coke smell stays in your nose for a, a good minute, minute and a half with this one. And, of course, like I said, you get a really good nicotine hit off of it. So I definitely, definitely recommend you getting the Mint Crystal Smokers Blend. It's fucking phenomenal in my opinion. It makes my shitty day happy. Um, no, nothing can make my shitty day happy, but it definitely helps. Um, I actually use this one all day today, which is why it's um, almost kaput. Um, but yeah, it's really good snuff. I greatly enjoy it. Um, very, 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 very good snuff. You should definitely get it. Um, so my next reviews are going to be either the Santo Domingo, the Bureau, Mick Crystal's Raspberry, or the Wow American Caramel. Your choice. Leave it in the comments section below. Thanks guys for all the comments. I love responding to them. As you see, I think I've been doing a decent job at getting back to you guys with the comments I'm trying my hardest so keep dropping the comments I really like getting back to them I like waking up in the morning and seeing like holy shit I uploaded this at 1 in the morning and it has four comments on it it makes my day it starts my day off right so make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below um, by the way I got a comment on my chair my bungee cord chair get on uh, target.com um, they may ship to you may not I got it for 30 bucks but um yeah, it's it's a chair that's made out of all bungee cords and stuff, and then you just plop down into it, and you can bounce up and down in it. It's a really fun chair. Anyways, back on topic. Make sure you leave comments in the comment section below. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons down here next to my boobies. Let me know which one you want me to do next. We have McChrystal's Raspberry, Fravor Contrero Bureau, if I'm saying it right. Wow Caramel, it's actually pretty good. And Fredberg Contreras Santo Domingo. So, definitely let me know which one you want to do. Like, subscribe next to my man titties. And have a great night, guys. Um, I should have another review probably up on a Friday or Saturday for y'all. So, keep it real till then, guys. And don't hurt yourself. <laughs> have a good one.